I work 11 to 11, so I try to get up at 7 a.m. to get stuff done. And I leave my house at 10. And I still don't feel like three hours is enough time to get up, drink my coffee, work out, clean up things, like tidy up, um, start laundry, do a load of dishes, um, get the kids up, get them fed and and uh, I was going to say <laughs> baked, but they're not. We don't bake our baked. kids in this house. We just feed them. <laughs> fed and uh, I don't bathe them either in the morning. I don't know why I want to say that either. But, you know, like fed and like together. Just at night to make sure they're not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have hair wash days every Sunday and Wednesday. Anyways, that's irrelevant. Um, the kids, not us. We, we bathe our hair every night. I don't. We're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> I mean, I think I've, I wash my hair every other day for oh, the most part. Like, I mean, even for myself. Not with the hair, but although I do, anyways, that's another story, the hair tangent, but just trying to figure out how to get everything done. Like if Meg's working a shift at the hospital and then I got both kiddos and you're trying to do work um, because I work from home and then you try to clean the house or do house projects and then you try to get them to bed. The next thing you know, it's 1 a.m. And I... I think this is an understatement, and Tucker can tell you. I have a to-do list that's 712 miles long. It's not a list. It's a novel series. That, honestly, like, I probably add at least 10 to 15 new things a day. And I tend to bite off way more than I can chew. Case in point, last year in 2022, um, we bought a house, and um, we kept our old house as our rental house. And... um, our new house i said oh let's just completely redo it because we can and then let's um let's have a kid and so we spent pretty much all nine and a half months 30 i think i went to 30 half 30 half (laughs) 38 and a half weeks trying to fix up slash redo this house anyways um there's just a lot of things that are just completely undone around here and that's another season in life that i'm in because prior to this house like i feel like the lord's teaching me like to be content in each of these moments because i am one of those people that i want to be that girl that looks like she has it all together not only like looks like it but i want to have it all together but at the very least look like i have it all together i want to have my house always picked up always in perfect condition for i mean not perfect but like clean cleanly and like picked up i want to be the one that fresh bakes goodies and and works and keeps my kids and all of this junk and I feel like the Lord is teaching me in these days, like, I just do your best and <laughs> and your best is all you can give. So you just got to do what you can do. And my kids are not going to grow up thinking, oh, mom, she didn't have the house pristine. They are going to remember like me flipping out on them because they wore their shoes on the couch. Not to say that I let my children wear their shoes on the couch, but. There's a time and a place for everything. And uh, I'm going to go wear my shoes on the couch. Oh, my goodness. He he really does. You guys like messiest human on the planet. But I love him. You're like a secret podcaster that just has never been given a mic. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think these people would probably say I'm that great at it. But maybe so we always joke like late night, Megan, which right now it's currently uh, 1028. We've successfully gotten both of our children asleep like dirks was actually asleep at eight o'clock which is a total parent win like it it happens very infrequently few and far between that we get that kid awake i mean that kid awake (laughs) oh my goodness that kid asleep before i mean honestly like last night he went to sleep at two like we are literally in the bed like jerks Go to sleep, please. We tried to get him. Like he, he took a nap on the ride home, but I, but I feel like at his age, like at three, you should be able to take 
at, not like I'm not at, I'm not saying like a four or five hour nap. He should be able to take a one hour nap on the car ride home from somewhere and go to sleep. But this child, he is allergic to sleep. I I really think so. This kid, like I I have to wake him up at eight or earlier for him to even go to sleep at a decent hour, and he cannot sleep during the day. Like no nap, no nothing. Yes, FOMO. Yeah, but even, I don't even know. Like, he won't go to sleep. And you actually said, I said something yesterday, like, you know, if you try to do 1% better every day, and then you said today that you had heard a quote. I said, um, if you try to be 1% better every day, then by the end of the year, you'll be 365 and a half percent better than you were last year. What was the half? <laughs> like, like every fourth year is a leap year. No, what, oh, if it's a fourth. Oh, yeah. Leave us comments of what you want us to talk about because this is like really all over the place. But we wanted it to be a really like informal episode of like just life. So, guys, if you like this podcast, please subscribe so more people will see it. I hope you have a great and awesome day or night or whenever you're listening to this. Um, and just remember, God loves you and we don't know you, but... Uh, if we do, we probably do love you. I mean, actually, if we do. <laughs> we do. We. <laughs> I think what Meg is trying to say is that we, we, we love you no matter what. <laughs> and if we did know you, we'd love you even more. But <laughs> Miss Franny over here. But we love you guys, and we'd love for you to follow because we're going to be talking about organized thoughts that are going to have a breakdown of different topics of parenting, how not to parent, being a dad mom in this world being christians what it means to be just a christian and just like meg said at the beginning real life and how god has blessed blessing blessed the broken road that has we've driven down this life just how all things work together for the good of those who love the lord i don't think anyone else could have said it better except for rascal flats <laughs> <laughs> rascal flats there are multiple songs not just rascal flats like i mean we could do darius rucker um let me hear to this i think they get the point so meg will you wrap it up for us uh 